And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Howdy folks, today we're going to be taking a look at Roborama. Yes, another robot game, another programmable robot game. Actually, not necessarily. This is not a game where you're going to program your robots move. Instead, you're going to choose how to move your robots each time. This is kind of a strategy style game. Kind of. It's a very strategic game. Think of Checkers Chess. That sort of type of game. But in this one, you're thinking moves ahead as you move your robots around. With three levels of play and some absolutely amazing amazing pieces. Uh, we can hope it's good, right? In Roborama, there's three modes of play, but they're all essentially the same thing. Get the robots of your color back to your thing. So these green robots need to go back to the green color. These orange robots need to go back to the orange color, and so on and so forth. Now, the way you're going to do that is through movement cards. Now, in the base game, you're going to have these movement cards that are placed in front of you. And so what you're going to do is I might use this movement card. So I push it up there and it does not come back down until there's some way I can find to reactivate it. Now when I use a movement card, uh, let's say I use the two movement card, I can pick one of my robots and go two spaces. I'm allowed to jump over my own robot, so this would also be legitimate to do. But let's say I go here and I move two spaces. On my next turn, let's say I decide that I'm going to move four spaces. So I'm going, I push this one up here and move four spaces. I then pick this robot, and by the way here, you'll note that the facing doesn't really matter. They, you can't do this, one, two, three, four. It always has to be in a straight line. But at the beginning of your turn, you can swivel and go where you want. So he goes here, lands on this spot. Now, because he landed on a two, that means if I have the two activated, which I do, it goes back here, and I'll be able to use it again. So if you're clever, you can keep bringing these back down. If you land on a question mark, you can bring any of them back down. Alternatively, you can decide not to move on your turn, push this up, and bring back down one of your choice, but you have to be on that number. So if I push the chip up now, I could bring back the two or the one. You'll note there's a slight problem here with how the game is laid out, is that you're constantly having to pick these up. I wish there was a way that you could have seen the numbers without actually moving the robots every time. The first person to get all four in your opponent's area is the winner. Now when you're going to your opponent's area, so here's the green area, and the green robots are going to this, let's say these blue robots moved out, but this one's holding firm. As soon as I have one robot that moves in, you have to move out. You have to get out then until every robot that you have in there is out, which is a good rule because it means you, can, you can't just block my space. And if you can't move for some reason, and that will happen if you're not careful, you automatically will lose the game. Now that's the base game. The advanced game, we turn these all over. Each of these can be used the normal way, except you can also flip them over once per game to use them for a special thing. This one here, when I push it forward, I can pull back any number, even if my robots aren't standing on it. This lets me move diagonally one. This lets me jump over an opponent's piece when I'm going to. This lets me um, curve when I'm moving three. This one is four, but I can move two pieces, maybe one, 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 three, or both of them two spaces. And this one, instead of moving five, I can move between one and four spaces. Then the third method brings in the chaos bot, which is a really cool piece here. And the chaos bot, each player is going to have some cards, and they're going to be moving these cards around and attacking the other robots with the chaos bot and basically causing confusion and general messiness as they move around the board. You'll get some cards at the beginning of the game and use those to move this guy around. But again, the object is still the same. Get your guys to the, your finish line. Wow, man. First of all, love these robots. These are some really cool pieces. Thank you, Chaos Bot. Um, just fun to move them around the board. Like I said, the only production problem with this game, the tiles are thick and everything's easy and clear. The only thing is that when the robots are on, you can't remember what numbers are underneath them and you have to move them around. Minor thing. 
but that's it. Other than that, great production. Everything fits in the box. There's a nice insert that holds all your robots individually. Hurrah! Now, as to the game itself. I like it. I do think level three with the Chaos Bot is too chaotic. It's just too crazy. The game is already a pretty tough game as it is. And so I'm not as fond as that one, even though I want to use the Chaos Bot. He just really causes too much chaos. Now, the, the, the my favorite mode is Mode 2. Mode 1 is basically just a learning game to get to Mode 2. Very intriguing how this game works. You could... You have a certain number of cards that are active at any point in time. If all your cards are active, you will lose because then you can't you can't use an active card until you've, you know, reset it. So you could move and then move and reset the card that you just moved. You can set it up so you only ever have one active card at any point in time. The problem is that's not probably the most efficient way to get there. So you may have two inactive cards, but when you do that, you limit the number of movement that you have. Add that to when do you use your special ability, when do you move diagonally, when do you jump, when do you curve. This is really interesting because what this game feels like more than any other game to me was Chinese checkers. And here's the thing, I hate Chinese checkers. The reason I hate Chinese checkers is because the game is interesting, I suppose. It's the super checkers where everything jumps over everything, but there comes a point in the middle where it's just this big mess and it's muddled and blah, and you feel like someone found the perfect jump at one point and that wins in the game. This has a similar feel, but I like this one better because I feel like if you win this game, you've won due to your strategic and tactical dominance. Yeah, you can block people in this game, but you can't block them forever uh, because you need to get your own robots there. But you can, when you move, you can be thinking, okay, if I move here, that's going to use this. That puts me in a position to move there to uh, reactivate that tile. But at the same time, I'm blocking this guy. I know he wants the five. There's a five there. If I move, he can't get to that tile. So there's kind of layers of depth in this game. This game looks deceptively silly, kiddish almost in a sense. You bring out people like, ooh, robots! But it's actually very brain burnery and some pretty intense stuff in the game. So I, I enjoy it. it. It's not one I want to play all the time because it's almost a silent game punctuated by remarks of, and then some unkind word to a person who's just really messed your, your move that you set up. But uh, you have to be able to figure and work around that. Very interesting game. Certainly different than most of the games that I played out there. Check it out. Robo Rama. Dice Tower of Judgment. Approved. Except Chaos Bot. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Unki de Usha. Boop. Boop.